Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about errors when you try to update the firmware on your DJI Mavic 2. Now specifically I'm going to talk about the error which is update failed network disconnected because I see this one keep being posted on forums, on Facebook and places like that and whilst it's a fairly common and straightforward error I'm going to take you through what it is, what causes it and what you need to do to get around it. Now before I get started, if you like what you see in this video, please do subscribe. There's a button in the bottom right hand corner. There are also some links in the description to the Mavic 2 and all of the other DJI products as well. So if you'd like to support the channel, please do go check them out. Okay, so to explain this error in a little bit of detail, this one is generally caused by your aircraft interfering with the Wi-Fi on your device. The Mavic 2 uses OcuSync, which is dual band, and it works on 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Most people's Wi-Fi at home is on 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, and the problem with that is the aircraft connection walks all over the connection on your Wi-Fi and disconnects it and stops it downloading the files. Now, there are some very simple things you can do to stop that. The first is pick everything up and move it a lot closer to your router because the closer your device is to the router the stronger the wi-fi signal and the less chance the ocusync has to interfere with it however that doesn't always work in all cases and it's not always possible because you could be using a wi-fi that's external or something like that if you're not able to do that there are a couple of other things you can try as well the first one of those is change the band of wi-fi your device is using by default the aircraft will generally be on 2.5 gigahertz if your wi-fi supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz manually force your phone onto 5 gigahertz wi-fi and that should allow it to download the file without getting interference from the ocusync on the aircraft if you're not able to switch the Wi-Fi over to 5 GHz, you can actually switch the aircraft frequency over to 5 GHz because, as I said, the Mavic 2 supports dual-band Wi-Fi. Now, you can't actually do this on the Mavic 1. You would have to change the Wi-Fi frequency. On the Mavic 2, you can. And to do this, you would simply go into HD settings and force it to use the 5 GHz option under the Go4 app. Once you've done that, that means they're both on a separate band again and you're able to download the file and the update should go through successfully. If those few options don't work, there is something else you can try and that is using a longer cable. Part of the issue can be that your remote controller is right next to your phone with the Wi-Fi there and the antennas up here. And one solution to doing this is actually disconnect it from the cable that is built into the remote controller. Use a long USB cable into the base of the remote and put a little bit of separation between your phone or your tablet and the remote controller and again place your phone as close as you possibly can to your wi-fi and then put your remote controller you know as far as the cable will allow next to the aircraft and by doing that it means that there's a little bit of separation and the interference from the connection on here is not as bad and it should allow the update to go through now if you're going to do this there is something you need to be aware of and that is that you must always remove this cable from the side of the remote controller because the bottom USB port will not work unless this cable is disconnected and I don't mean disconnected from the phone but I mean completely disconnected out the side of the remote so you do need to make sure that's disconnected otherwise that bottom port won't work but that is another way of making sure that the connection is good and it's able to pick up the Wi-Fi from the router. If you're still trying to update by Go4 and all of that doesn't work, there is one last thing I would suggest trying, and that is clearing the cache on your device. Because when you try to do the firmware updates, it downloads it to the cache in your device before it uploads it to the aircraft. And the problem is, if you've had multiple failed downloads, it can actually corrupt the file on your device. Now, you can reset this nice and simply. You open your DJI Go4 on your device. You then go under Me, on the bottom right hand corner, you click on the settings option in the top right hand corner and then you go on clear cache. When you click that, it'll give you a list of all of the cache on the device and you can see about halfway down, there's one here called clear firmware. You simply click that and it says clear firmware installation package, click OK and that will erase the firmware installation package that is on the device for you. So if you are having problems after doing all of what I've mentioned there, do go try that because that is actually quite an important step to do. 
If all of that fails, the final option you can try is using the DJI Assistant for Mavic on your PC or Mac. Now, if you don't know what this is, it is a PC or Mac application that allows you to update the firmware, calibrate the sensors, as well as refresh the firmware on your aircraft. Now, there are some downsides to doing it in the sense of you've actually got to do the remote controller and the aircraft separately, so you have to do one or then the other. However, it does generally work when the Go 4 app won't allow you to update. Now, the trick to doing that is that you download the correct version for your aircraft, then make sure that you connect one, allow it to do the update, and then do the other one and allow that to do the update as well. One thing I have noticed, as I've said, people tend to do the aircraft, but they do miss the remote controller. Now, overall assistant does work well. However, sometimes people get problems with the drivers. And if you do get that, the trick then is to disconnect it uninstall the app, reinstall the correct version again, and then try to connect it again. Now, Assistant used to be called Assistant 2, but they've now separated it off into multiple versions. So do make sure you download the one for your aircraft. It's now called DJI Assistant for Mavic. You can get it from the Mavic 2 downloads page. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video for you as well. And that is pretty much it. As I've said, if you follow those things, it should allow you to get the update done, either by moving it all closer or to your router and doing some changes with the frequencies, or put it on Assistant 2 and update it that way. But either way, it should get the update done for you. If it still doesn't go through after doing both of them, just try removing the SD card if you've got one in the craft, because I have seen that affect updates before as well. And that is it for this video. If you've liked what you've seen, please do check out. We have over 150 videos on this channel covering everything from DJI right through to the Pixhawk 2 and various other things. We've also got them separated into playlists as well that help you navigate to the ones that might be relevant for you. If you like what you see on the channel, please do subscribe. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of every video. And by doing that, you will receive updates on any videos that we release in the future. Finally, there are some links to the products we talk about in the description for each video. I would really appreciate it if you are going to buy a product if you would like to buy via those links. By supporting the channel it allows us to keep buying products to be able to talk to you guys about. That's it, thank you for watching and I'll do another video again soon.